My name is James Johnson, a.k.a. Super Chicken. Born and raised in Mississippi. Grew up at the crossroads. I'm a thoroughbred Delta man, and I play Delta blues. I'm one of the last of the originals. There's a lot of Delta musicians there, but there's no, the re originals are all old and some are passed on. And uh, I'm trying to keep the Delta blues alive. <clears throat> so I'm here in Amsterdam with it. <laughs> She thrilled me Ain't nobody heal me like she healed me Can't nobody do me a lie my baby Ain't Delta Blues is the original blues. It's got the uh, heartfelt, authentic sound. You know, the original sound that originated from the, the cotton fields doing hard times. Uh, people in the Delta worked hard and sharecropping and they sung about it and uh, <clears throat> the overseers and the bosses didn't like it because they were singing about hard times and that's what the boss was causing was hard times and so they told them they didn't want to hear that music because it was devil music said so go out in the woods and sing it so uh, they found an old abandoned shack out in the woods to, to just everybody started gathering in there drinking their moonshine and and singing their old field songs that the boss didn't want to hear, and that's how the juke house originated. And that's why the juke house was always out in the country and not in town. Ooh. Ain't nobody bad like my baby. Well, the blues where I grew up as a child was heartfelt music. It was it, it come from the heart, and, and it was sentimental. It meant something to you. You know, there was a lot of people out there that could play anything they wanted to, but they refused to be famous because they were family men and family people. Uh, when I got married, I had a guitar in one hand and my wife in the other. So she married us both. Of course, I didn't know it was going to turn out like this. I said, but if everything fall back and nothing else to do, I said, this is what I'll wind up doing. And it worked out that way. So, But I've been having a hard time with it. <laughs> I lived the Robert Johnson syndrome of life up and down with hill hounds on my trail. Somebody shoot that thing. Thank you. When I made my first guitar, it was out of an old uh, military gas can. It, and it was still green and beat up and rusty and all this kind of stuff. And somebody asked me to paint that can. Said it was a nice uh, idea, but it, it was ugly. So paint it. So I painted the Delta on it. My, my uh, first song of my first recording was called Down in the Delta. So I painted a whole bunch of Delta singers. I painted that whole song on that can. Down in the Delta, living in the country, everything is fine. Peach trees are blooming, clothes hanging out on the line. Well, the sole of my shoes and wore down thin like a dime. And every word I wrote in there was true, you know. So I, 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 I write what I know about. Well, I am the blues. <laughs> I was born in a cotton field, grew up on a cotton sack, cut my teeth on a John Deere tractor. The blues is hard time, hard work, and being faithful to yourself and being true to the heart, and sing from your heart, write from your heart. It's, it, it, it's a feeling. It's a, it's, it's a heartfelt feeling. And uh, it's not all about hard time because for as hard time goes, I mean, what people consider hard time was uh, a, 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 I don't know, a daily thing for me. I look forward to it. I look forward to picking cotton every day. I look forward to chopping cotton whenever we worked in the fields, like 
we had a certain amount of cotton to pick. And I would lay there at night thinking, boy, I'm going to get me 200 pounds tomorrow. I look forward to going to the field and getting that. And when we go to the field, I would try to find the, the row with the mo most cotton on it, the, uh, what we call a thick row with a lot of cotton on it. And we would pick as hard as we could, and we couldn't wait to get to the scale to weigh our sacks to see how much was in it. Oh, I got uh, 80 pounds in this sack. Boy, I got to go up there and get me 120 more pounds. So you pick a couple of more 60-pound sacks, and you got your 200. At certain ages, you had a certain amount of cotton to pick. And if you didn't get it, you got beat with a cotton stall. Don't take life for granted. Take it seriously. Because people are living shorter lives now because they take it for granted. Uh, I can appreciate life a lot more than I did when I was a kid. If I had to do now what I did when I was a kid, I couldn't do it. So uh, I'm taking it with a smile. I'm appreciating it and I'm loving it. And I'm glad that I come up playing the diddly bow at my grandpa's front porch parties. Now I can rely on uh, the old family heritage, playing my guitar and, 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 and staying original with the Delta music. That's all I know anyway. <laughs> Somebody shoot that thing. Thank you. Thank you. Woo, somebody shoot that thing.